sniping like a mad lad right now. Oh my goodness, dude. Holy sh <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys the power of sniping in Red Dead Online. As you just saw by that clip, snipers are very deadly in the right hands. So if you're sick and tired of the auto-aim pain in black meta, this is definitely the video for you because today I'm going to show you guys the basic sniper build to get started. And then I'm going to give you guys a few variations of the build that you can use to fit your playstyle. So, how exactly did snipers rise to power, but somehow stay under the radar? Well, they rose to power first with the buff to the rolling block rifle's damage a while ago, and I think the Carcano rifle may have gotten a buff, a damage buff before, I'm not sure about that one. But they're buffed again with the Frontier Pursuit update because Rockstar gave them aim assist, which makes it a lot easier to hit your targets now. And on top of that, animations are sped up, which gave both the rolling block rifle and the Carcano rifle massive increases to their fire rates. And then finally, the addition of the Sharpshooter Ability card, which at Tier 3, gives you much more damage and damage resistance while scoped in, aka while sniping. Since we're talking about Ability cards, let's go ahead and get right into the build. The two main cards that you need are Peak Condition 3, which gives you much more damage when you have much more stamina, and of course, Sharpshooter 3. Both of these, combined with Express Rifle Rounds, will one-shot a player that isn't using any defensive buffs with the Carcano Rifle. That's right, not the Rolling Block Rifle, the Carcano Rifle, which shoots much faster. It outputs the most DPS that you can get. I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure with the Carcano Rifle, you could shoot three rounds before the Rolling Block shoots two. But if you do use a Rolling Block Rifle with Express Rounds with this build, you're going to one-shot 99% of the time. Even with regular rounds, you can one-shot a lot of people if they aren't rocking damage resistance cards. Unless someone has tonics and all the damage resistance in the world stacked on at once, the Rolling Block Rifle with Express Rounds is going to one-shot. In most situations you come across, you are never going to have to hit them with more than two bullets. The only exceptions being what I just said about tonics combined with like slow and steady, stuff like that. I use the Carcano Rifle though because the high rate of fire helps out a lot. So basically if you really want to get a one shot almost all the time use the Rolling Block, but if you want a little more rate of fire and maybe take a little less chance to one shot then use the Carcano. But trust me, I've been using the Carcano Rifle ever since the update came out and I can rock people with the Sniper Rifle, I just one shot them and spawn trap them pretty much all the time. Lots of people at the moment are using this card called Fool Me Once for taking tons of body shots. Needless to say, that isn't going to help you at all against the Sniper because they're just going to be dead in one or two shots regardless, even with that damage resistance. It's not going to help them survive another sniper shot. The reason I like this build so much is, well, first of all, I've always liked playing the sniper role and dealing damage at a distance. And second, you can make your own variations of it because it only requires two cards to use properly. Let me just give you a couple examples, or a few examples right now, so you know what I mean. Now, the one I'm running right now is a one-shot sniper healing a hybrid. I use a moment to recuperate for my Deadeye card, and then for my third passive, I use Eye for an Eye so I can get Deadeye back faster, so I can use my Deadeye card more often. And since a lot of you probably have never even used a moment to recuperate, you just went for, you know, the meta, paint it black, or slow and steady, here is how fast I can regen my health with a moment to recuperate. All it took was a few seconds to fill my health back up to maximum from it being completely empty, and it didn't even use half of my Deadeye Bar to do that. Oh, and by the way, it's even faster when you're in cover. With this build, I never have to worry about spamming tonics to refill my health. I very rarely die in PvE because of this. And for PvP, since I force my engagements to be at long range, players are more than likely going to just tic-tac my health down unless they have a sniper build on too, so I pop it whenever I take damage to heal that little damage I take up instantly. But that is just one of the many variations you can make out of this build. Let's just say you want even more damage with your sniper, Peak Condition 3 and Sharpshooter 3 aren't enough. Well, if you go over to the Deadeye cards, you can put on this one called Focus Fire, which increases your damage while Deadeye is active. And then for the third passive, you can pick anything you want, really. You'd probably want to go for a Deadeye regen card, so you can have access to that extra damage more often, though. With this variation, you'd be hitting like a truck, but you won't have any health regen potential, so you'd be very much a glass cannon. Or maybe instead of dealing more damage, you want to be able to tank more damage yourself. Then you can use Iron Lungs, which synergizes with Peak Condition. And then maybe Slow and Steady for your Deadeye card. This would be, obviously, a more tanky version of the build, but 
you would lose the Deadeye regen and mobility since you can't run while using slow and steady. And that's really just scratching the surface of it. There are so many different things I could think of. I just want to name a few. I don't want to bog this video down with just a bunch of theory crafting. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP related content in both Red Dead and GTA Online. Give the sniper build a try. Trust me, it's so much fun sniping in this game now. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. He thought he could escape from the sniper of the west. Sniper of the west got him. He can escape from the scarecrow sniper. Can't escape from the scarecrow sniper. He'll, he'll be right at your door. Sniping you in the face with a cock hunt out.